Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Welcome. I am so excited to see you. Happy Saturday. We have a full body workout. It's going to be a pyramid style workout, which means we have a 
the exercises we're going to work, we're going to work from 60 seconds, 45, 30. Rest is also going to be decreasing in between those timers as well. So let's get right into our warm up and then we'll get this workout started. So first things first, we're gonna take it a little bit wider and we're gonna do marches. So try to bring your heels up towards your bum. You can get a little pull here in the arms. Nacho is stretching, he's warming up as well. Hello, Nacho. <laughs> this is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> he thinks it's playtime. All right, three more and then we are going to bring our knees up into our chest. Two and one, so from here we're gonna pull, hold it in, and then switch it up. Nacho, really? <laughs> he, he like, I feel bad leaving him out. Cause he's like, Stella's here, why can't I be here? I said we're gonna need to get an extra chair for him so that he has one on this side. A couple more, here's two, and one, now we're gonna do Side to side lunge here. So just taking it down, starting up a little bit higher, and then as we warm up and work through it, try to take it a little bit deeper. And you can get a little pull here, so squeeze the shoulder blades back as you work through it. A few more. Take it a little bit deeper. Exhale as you bring this down. Good, here's three, here's two, and one, big arm circles back now. So taking it back, breathing. Just to give you an idea for dumbbell range that I am using today, what do I have? I have my 10, 15, 25 pound dumbbells and then when we do a sumo Romanian deadlift, I may use a kettlebell for maybe the 45 pound, just depends. See how we feel, because uh, after the workouts that are coming up this week for you, Bum is a little bit sore. We've got two more and one. Now we're gonna just open and close here, almost through the warm up, crossing one arm on top and then the other. Good, and chest is up. Here's three, here's two, and one. All right, feeling, feeling warm, heart rate is coming up. We are going to get into our first exercise, which is going to be the squat. So again, the structure for today's workout, we're gonna work 60 seconds, we're gonna rest 20 seconds. Same exercise, work 45 seconds, rest 15 seconds. Finally, work 30, rest 10. So that is what we have going on today. Grab heavy dumbbells, you know you can always decrease, so try to start heavy and then move down. So we're gonna start with our squat, let's get our dumbbells, and we're gonna get right into this. One bottom, right? Oh no, top. I am, um, I'm here doing the timers today. Hey, you can start your watches if you want to do that. I'm sure that was in the comments. Squeeze, Jason, okay, so you know where, um, with moving back here, usually in Dubai, we'd be doing the workouts like later in the evening. It'd be like six or seven when we'd start the strength workouts. Nothing really happens then. But now, being back here in the US, things happen on Saturday morning, so. And actually, if you remember last week, I was telling you about how I'm never shopping clearance again. Well, hallelujah, West Elm is accepting the return for the couch whose legs do not work. So I was like, thank you. So they're actually here to pick up the couch this morning. So Jason's doing that. Anyways, long story, which I probably made even longer because I tend to do that. Almost there, and then we're gonna get 20 seconds. Whew, breathing, 10 seconds left, down. And squeeze, how's the weight? Did you pick heavy enough weight? Oh, we're going for it, it's Saturday morning. Here's three, two, and one. Resting it out, 420. Yes, I did it. Oh, the rest is gonna go by quick for this workout. So breathing, adjust your weight if you need to. Anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off, you can do that too. Okay, five seconds. Now, working 45 seconds. We go, here we go, 45. Back to that squat, down and squeeze. Nacho, please do not look up. <laughs> Excuse me. And down. Nacho lays in like the craziest ways. I don't, I, he likes to lay on his back, but he always lays up right against the wall and like extends himself as long as he can. I'm like, what are you, how is that even comfortable? Good, over halfway, down and squeeze. 
I have to be honest, I think Jason is playing the cycling playlist right now. Because this is a cycling song. Here's two and one. Nice. Resting it out 15 seconds now. Whew, breathing. We're gonna go again. Last time through was 30 seconds. So if you can up your weight, grab it and let's go heavy for it. Okay, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds on. Down and squeeze. And up. So last week we had the intro for the cycling workout. Now we've got the cycling song. At least you know what's gonna be happening for the cycling workout today. Ooh, breathe. We're gonna get 10 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna go into a sumo Romanian deadlift. Here's three, two, and one. So 10 seconds. Let me show you what that looks like. You can quick, quickly grab heavy dumbbells just like this, legs out. We're gonna bring it down and squeeze. So that's that sumo RDL. Grab your dumbbells. Get ready to go, or your kettlebell if you have that. We're working 60 now. Here we go. Down. Pull and squeeze. Good, chest is coming down towards the floor. Don't round or arch your back. So next week's workouts, by the way, arms and shoulders, and then we have glutes and abs. Yeah, it's um, pretty good combos, but I'm telling you, you're gonna feel it afterwards, which is always a good thing, I think. And squeeze, good. 15 seconds. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit of a longer break. We're gonna bump it up to 20 seconds for the break. Last one, and squeeze. We've got three, two, rest it out for 20. Breathing. Yeah, this is definitely the cycling playlist. So this is cool. All right, we're going in that. We've got two more sets. 45 seconds of work is next. So if you can adjust your weight up, you know what to do. I won't keep reminding you about that, but. All right, 45 seconds, here we go. So legs out in that sumo position, we're down, then squeeze up. Push the hips forward a bit to really activate those glutes as well. Breathing. Take your time through the lower and the raise back up. Almost there. Then we're gonna have 15 seconds of rest. Good, and squeeze. We've got three, we've got two, we've got one. Oh, all right. Last round through. 30 seconds with 10 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna bring it onto the mat for glute bridge. So four, here's three, two, and one, 30 seconds, last time through. So come on, finish strong, down, and up. So your arms are just hanging down. So you don't need to try to like let your arms come forward. They're staying very close to your center of gravity as you lower down. So we're not extending those arms out. Almost there. 10 seconds, so think about your glute bridge weight, bring it to the mat, grab your dumbbells, and we've got 10 seconds. Nacho, I'm not sure about this, you might have to move. All right, I'm gonna, I have to switch the angles down to the ground. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so we are working glute bridge for 60 seconds. So bring it down, get into position, and we're working. You keep working. If the timer's on and you know what to do, get to work and then I'll be catching up with you. Good, down and squeeze. 
Make sure you're just tapping down and then you squeeze right back up. Nacho, we're really gonna have to figure out a chair for you or something. <laughs> this is, I'm not sure this is working. Oh my. He sees himself and he gets very excited when he sees himself on the camera because he can see the TV. So he's watching himself. Whew, 20 seconds. Don't get excited and try to chase, chase the dog around the house, Nacho. 10 seconds, then you're gonna get 20 seconds of rest in eight. Here's six, five, four, three, two. Rest it out, 20 seconds. Got it. Whew. Good, all right, good, I'm taking the mat. I am taking over the mat. Now that he, this is how it happens in bed. He's hogging the bed and I'm like, whoa, he moved. I'm just taking all the space up. All right, we're working 45 seconds next. So get ready. They're taking the couch. Uh oh, 45 seconds. Here we go. And squeeze. Hips up and squeeze, good. Breathing, exhale. I'm actually excited that you're getting a taste of the cycling playlist because I'm ready for this, this ride today. It's gonna be a super fun one. If you don't know, this is one of my favorite songs actually to climb to. 10 seconds. Ooh, break's only gonna be 15 seconds. We are moving it today in five, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds. Jason, this is the cycling playlist, by the way. <laughs> Eight seconds we go, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna start on abs. So lay it back, we go in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds. We're up and squeeze. Push the hips up, good. Down and up. Ten seconds now. Remember, ten seconds. We won't need any dumbbells. Two and one. Ten seconds to rest. So the next exercise we are going to do is a double crossbody crunch. So we're going to crunch on the right twice and then cross left twice. So that's what we're working. You can modify by keeping your legs down if you'd like to do that, but we've got 60 seconds. So modification is gonna look just like this. Feet are down, we're crunching across two times and then across two times on the other side. And crunch. And squeeze. Exhale as you crunch up. Think about bringing that rib cage down to your hips. Really get your shoulder blades up. Yeah, I know the mat's wild. We're working with the new mat because you can see we've got a rug now. And so we're trying to work with the, with the mat, but it keeps rolling up. 15 seconds. 20 seconds of rest is next. Breathing, here's four, three, two, and one, 20 seconds. Oh, breathe in. This 20 seconds is gonna feel good. So two more sets like that, and then we'll be moving on. Eight seconds. So same thing, we're gonna do the crunches, 45 seconds this time. So roll it back, get ready, and let's work. Good, halfway. Ooh, 10 seconds. 
15 seconds of rest next in four, three, two, 15 seconds. Oh, nice. We've got 30 seconds of work to finish this out. After this, we're gonna get ready to do chest flies. So again, that 10 seconds goes by so quick. So make sure you've got your dumbbells nearby for chest flies. After this next set of abs, we've got 30 seconds to work. Here we go. And crunch. Breathing, reach down, feel your abs working as you crunch. Really get that shoulder blade up. Bring your ribs to your hip and feel it working. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, 10 seconds to rest. So let me show you chest flies really quick in case you are new to those. We're gonna be up, we're gonna open wide and squeeze back up. So arms are going out wide, palms are open and then they close together. 60 seconds, let's begin. And squeeze. Just a slight bend in the elbow. So as you lower, those palms are towards the ceiling. When I get to the top, I like to bring my pinkies. Think about bringing my pinkies together. I feel like that helps me get just a little bit more out of that. Just a little bit more contraction in your chest muscles. Good, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest in 15 seconds. Good, down, come on, squeeze it up. Five, four, three, two, 20 seconds. Oh, we are working it right now. Yeah, my mat has really gone <laughs> all over. 45 seconds of work this time. So we're gonna work 45 seconds, same exercise. Adjust your weight if you need to. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Take your time, squeeze. Keep your wrist straight as well. So let the dumbbells rest towards the back of your hand and just use your fingers. Just close those fingers up over the the dumbbell bar. And squeeze. 10 seconds. Whew. Four, two, one. 15 seconds of rest. Last set for chest press, or I'm sorry, chest flies. Last set for chest flies. And then we're gonna go back into abs. So we're gonna finish out chest flies in eight seconds. You won't need dumbbells for the abs. We've gotta work in three, two, here we go. Chest flies. And squeeze. Good, 20 seconds. So that next exercise is going to be an alternating leg lower with a toe touch. I'll show you that in three seconds, two and one, resting it out for 10 seconds. So no dumbbells. We're gonna do an alternating leg lower just like this, down, down, legs are gonna come up, we're gonna crunch. So that's the combo we're working with. We've got 60 seconds of that. So get ready and let's go. Modification, you're not taking your legs quite as low. So just keep those legs, or keep your back, your lower back pressed up against the mat. And crunch, good. So modification, just take that leg down just a few inches, and then get those shoulder blades up. Good, down, really crunch it up.
and up. Whew. You're gonna get a recovery very soon. Come on, finish strong, 10 seconds. And up, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds to rest. Same thing, two more sets, breathing. If you are feeling this more in your hip flexor or even in your quad, bend your knees and just do the heel tap, but make sure your low back is pressed against the mat so your abs are working. If your low back is arching up and you're doing this, then you're gonna be working the quads and hips and we're working the abs right now. So make sure that you focus on keeping that low back pressed in, bring it down and let's begin. And crunch. Good. And up. 15 seconds. And up. Five seconds. Two and one. Oh, 15 seconds to rest. Last time through for that, 30 seconds of work this time. After this, we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna finish out with our final two exercises, the Arnold press and bicep curls, but roll it on back. We've got 30 seconds and let's begin. Last time for this. And crunch. So we're really working the lower section of our abs as we do the leg lower and then we've got the upper working. One muscle, but just with the moves we're doing, it's activating the top or the bottom more. And down. Uh, what in the... Uh, rest it out. How long has that been going on for? <laughs> Bring it up to the top. We are standing now. Thank you. Jason's back, but I'm still doing the buttons. All right, we are going into Arnold Press. So palms just like this, out and up. So grab your dumbbells for that and let's get ready to go. 60 seconds on the clock and we're working it. And down. Exhale as you press up, take your time. Good, and breathe. You're halfway through. Ooh, 20 seconds. Shoulders are a little shaky after the arm workout that we have coming on Tuesday, for real. <sighs> 10 seconds, then you're gonna get 20 seconds to rest. Seven, here's five. Three, two, and 20 seconds. Breathe it out, shake it out. Two more sets, 45 seconds and 30. Then we just finish out with bicep curls. So 10 seconds and we go. 45 seconds. Here's five, three, two, and one. Back into the Arnold press. Good. Whew. Over halfway. And decide now, can you go up a little bit more in weight for this last and final set? If you can, make it count because you're gonna get a quick 15 seconds to recover and we go right back into it. Whew. There you go, 15 seconds to rest. 
Timer is short today for this pyramid style workout. I mean, we are pushing it. Breathing. Last time through, 30 seconds for Arnold press. That was a mouthful, Arnold press. So here we go, finish strong. The 30 second timer though goes by so quick. When you, That's why I was doing the abs for like, I don't even know how long, I just kept going. But 30 seconds, it's tough, but after you've worked 60 and 45, it's like, oh yeah, I got this. So bicep curls are gonna be next. We're gonna get a quick 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into the bicep curl. So here's your 10 seconds. And just in case you're like, what's a bicep curl? It's just like this. We lift and we lower. Keep those arms nice and close. 60 seconds, let's go. Make sure you've got full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Last exercise. So keep that in mind. Halfway through, fit for the holidays too. If you're taking more than, wait, are we more than halfway through? I don't know, Jason was like, the Christmas ride's next weekend. I was like, no, it's not. He was like, yeah, it is. I was like, it is? Oh my. I don't know where December went, but we are, we are close. Oh, 10 seconds. All the way down, come on, all the way up. Finish strong, five, four, here's three, two, and one. 20 seconds. Breathing, 15 seconds, two more sets like that. All right, let's get ready to go. Come on, up your weight if you can. 45 seconds of work. Here's two, one. We got it going on now. And squeeze. Whew. Good, 30 seconds. Don't forget to breathe, exhale as you pull that weight up. Fifteen seconds to rest after this. Come on, you've got eight seconds. That's a couple more reps. Five, three, two, and one. Fifteen seconds. Shake it out. Last thirty seconds to go. And this is gonna be it. We go in ten seconds. We've got cycling after this. You may already know that, but if you don't, we've got our cycling class over on the cycling channel in just about 30 minutes. Last 30, let's finish strong. Here we go. And squeeze. So these last couple Saturdays, we've really been working on just some more basic exercises to really help strengthen those muscles. This is going to help you when you get that, that solid foundation, it's gonna help you up your weights in other exercises where we're, where we're working the smaller muscle groups. The timer is up. Here I go again. I'm like 30 seconds, I'm telling you, it feels like we did it. We're rocking it. So hang over or hang out with us over on the cycling channel if you want to join us. You already have a taste of what the music's gonna be. I will see you over there. If you are done with your workouts, do not forget to get a stretch. After this, I will see you at the cycling channel or for our stretch. I love ya.